to start the game again to see what you've unlocked. Okay. Obviously at the beginning. Okay, let's see. Dirtarina Bell. Blah. <laughs> no, it's too far. Okay. She feels really confident. Like she can get way more stronger if she tries. But is she ready? Yeah, she's ready. She channels her thoughts and focuses on unlocking her hidden potential. Feels an overflowing surge of power. Alright, skip everything forever. Uh, give it to Lady Tatiana. And then I guess go with Lady Martha. I'll just be super middle of the road. Okay, daydreaming about world domination. Let's do it. Uh, oh, and then whatever. I don't know. She daydreamed about how she'd conquer the world. Take the princess from the loveless political marriages. It's for him she can't do anything. Something's lacking. Ugh. Wait, okay. Hold on. Let's see what happens if I choose the other option. Oh, gosh dang it. Dur dur bell. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I'm so ready. Skip. Whatever. Skip. Okay. Sleep and then I don't know. She slept like a log. scene okay okay so if I do this if I continue to do this then I can eventually here we go all right done planning skip 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 do whatever you want I can't finish this dress by myself okay I think there's one more of these scenes that we've already read Fine. Turneria <laughs> Beckalel. <laughs> okay, maybe we should. Okay, wait. If this is for sure the way that we do it, yes. All right. So, sorry. We're gonna. <laughs> um. <laughs> okay. She feels really confident. Skip. She's ready. Skip all of this. Skip all of this. Skip. Okay. So now we'll actually go through all of these scenes again. All right. I slept. In the afternoon, I had this whole scene. Wait. Dang it. it skips forever. Okay. Olivia! Ugh! What are you doing? Uh, nothing. Nothing? That's suspicious. You made a mess of your room. The head maid's gonna get mad at you again. <laughs> Name? <laughs> I keep glancing at it. It's just so silly. Uh, boo, like I care about that. Oh. What's with these scrap fabrics scattered around? Are you making a dress? Ugh. Yeah, so... It's just my personal project. It's not of your business. Olivia, you're making a replica of the red dress that the queen gave Lady Tatiana. <sighs> Nothing gets past you, huh? Yeah. Even when the princess has decided on who had the right to take the dress, thanks to you. I don't think they're happy. Well, at least one of them isn't. So, I'm thinking of making a dress that looks exactly like that one. And then, I don't know, give it to the princess Tatiana before the day of the wedding. <sighs> you can't was made by the most talented tailor in our country. He's already passed away. There's no way someone with ordinary skill can make an exact replica. You won't even let me try. That's what I hate most about you. <laughs> Not everything can be decided by logic, okay? Sometimes you gotta put your feelings into account as well. Just leave me alone. Okay. My stress increased. And then I slept. All right, sleep, and then do all this. It's 
morning. Decrease my stress. Yeah, this is definitely intended to help you. Alright. I've already decided. I'll help you make the dress. What? I don't need your help. The seam over there is backwards. Oh, oh man. Oh, my three hours of handiwork. Now I give up. Don't be so frustrated. I'm here to help you. <sighs> What's with the sudden change of heart? Thought you didn't think it was possible. Well, I have nothing better to do at night anyway. I want to spend more time doing something together with you before my eventual departure. Ugh, fine. You can do whatever you want. I don't think I can finish making this dress by myself anyways. Don't hog all the credit when we're done, okay? I got it. And then they worked together. Ow! Did the needle prick your finger? Are you okay? I'm fine. <sighs> Let me see it. Could be serious. I've already said I'm fine. There's no need to fuss about it. I'm not a kid, you know. Olivia, why do you want to be a grown-up so bad? Why don't I? You never take me seriously, because you always treat me like I'm a kid who just doesn't know any better. I'm 15. I'm like, a, I'm like an adult, so I can take care of myself. Yeah, you're right. Sorry. It's just... I already know from a long time ago the day we'd have to part would eventually come. I won't be able to take care of you anymore. I guess that's the reason why I want to see you as my adorable little Olivia forever. Ugh, jeez. I'm tired. I'm gonna go to sleep. Good night. Don't... Whatever. Go away. My stress increased. Oops. Alright. Uh, we'll keep swippy swapping. Morning. I slept. She even gets to have you. Evening. Oh my god, I timed that perfect. Ah, uh, so this is the difference between a master and an ordinary person. No matter how much we try, we can't make the exact same pattern. Ugh, that's it, I give up. Well, read your voice, Olivia. You're gonna wake the whole palace up. I'm a failure. I can't get anything done. Just leave me alone. You don't have to come here from now on. Well, if only I had the skill needed to help Olivia. My stress increased. Whoops. Boop. Uh... Boop? I think? Yeah, that, that feels right. It's morning. Ah, Olivia! Oh, hey. Did you come here to preach at me? About how not to be a quitter? Yeah, but more than that, I want to continue to help you. You don't usually think highly of yourself. Sometimes you view yourself as inferior or as a failure, but that isn't true. You have something I don't have. Creativity and a sensitive heart. The idea of making a copy of the dress to make both princesses happy just never crossed my mind. All I think about is, what way is the most logical and reasonable to solve the problem? If we can combine your good points and mine, then we'll make an invincible team. I like how she's like, I never thought to make a thing, but in Tatiana's route, she made a ring? <laughs> Ah, well, I guess she had like some some a little push in that direction, right? She was like, oh, no, the ring is I guess maybe I can well try making a ring, I guess That's what I believe. What do you say Olivia? Will you allow me to continue to help you? But we can never make a dress as pretty as the original The princesses aren't that shallow. I think just Olivia's feelings are enough for them to feel happy Yeah, I guess you're right All right, day five. Uh, this, I think, maybe. Merp. This is weird. I'm gonna get like, both of them are gonna smooch me. Finally! You did a pretty great job if I do say so myself. Oh, this is great! I never knew we could totally pull it off! It doesn't look much different from the original dress. Oh, you're the best! You worked so hard, too! With this, both princesses are gonna be happy. Ah, uh, your departure is getting closer and closer, huh? Yeah. 
but I'm happy I get to... Oops. I'm happy I get to spend the rest of our last days together doing something like this. I hugged Olivia. I love you a lot, Olivia. Aw, I love you lots and lots too. Olivia pulled away. I have something for you. It's a hand-embroidered handkerchief. I know it doesn't look very good, but I put all my feelings into it. So keep it with you wherever you go from now on. Aw, thanks, Olivia. I'll treasure it forever. As she thought, Dernarita Becca Becca Kale loves her cute little sister very much. If only they could keep a tiny Olivia with her at all times, like she could with this handkerchief. Oh, we're gonna give it to her. Okay, what do you need me here for? Is it something important? Go on, Olivia. Uh, well, um, this is, uh, Lady Tatiana, this is, um, for you. Uh, this dress. Don't tell me it's a replica of the dress that Mother gave Tatiana. Yeah, Olivia wanted you both to be happy, so she made it. Well, I made it with my sister's help, too. Oh, thank you. Words can't describe how happy I'm feeling at the moment. I have an idea. Why don't we both wear this to our weddings? Huh? Is that allowed? The real wedding will be celebrated in the groom's country. I don't think we'll get much flack for wearing something like this to our departure party. Well, it's decided then. Thank you, Olivia. And Dirk... Dirk mm, you. I'm really happy to have precious friends like you. <laughs> Seems like everything's going well. Uh, who did I talk to last? Yeah, I think this is right. I slept. And then I went to see Martha, and she kissed my hand. Oh, <laughs> she was already asleep. All right. Day seven. Um... I slept like a log. Wait! Oh, man, this all changed! Wait, what if the last one changed, too? Oh my god, you know what probably happened? Was she was talking about the ring, right? She was talking about the ring that Martha made, maybe? And that's where I skipped to by accident? Oh gosh. Okay, let's see. Sorry for keeping it bottled for so long. I... I've always felt the same, my lady. I love you, Princess Tatiana. Oh, you feel the same? Please look at this. It's a thing, it's a ring. Oh, a ring. Yeah, I was gonna give it to you. But I think maybe we should, like, get married. Without thought, they... <laughs> Dirt Arena Bell. Brought her lips to meet Princess Tatiana's. She closed her eyes and responded equally, slowly, gently, sweetly. It's all we ever wanted. She could feel her princess's heartbeat racing wildly in her chest, sinking perfectly with the sound of her own heartbeat. Tatiana suddenly pulled away. I'm happy that you feel the same. Oh, but even if our feelings are mutual, I still gotta do my thing, you know. Elope with me! I love you! Let's do this! Oh, I can't. Knock, knock. May I interrupt your cheesy forbidden romance time a little? Miss Martha was standing by the door. Did I mess something up? Didn't hear the commotion. I set a room on fire. Uh, I hate you. I don't think I can... This is Tatiana. They're already here. And then we peace out. We go to the forest. Princess Martha left. I should run away, but I'm not going to, lol. Can't believe I'm doing this. I love you, will you accept this ring? Totes. Let's hang out. No problem. I lived happily ever after. No! I messed up somehow! So... We're back at the point again where we've just given them the dress. What if now... I did this. Wait! Okay, hold on. Holy shit. Just 
save. Just save. Don't be a dumb. Okay. <laughs> like, what if, though? <gasps> oh! Sister! Are you feeling unwell? What's wrong? Olivia, there's something I've been hiding from you all this time. Sorry I didn't let you know about it. I was afraid that we couldn't be on normal terms anymore if I told you my secret. W what's wrong? Why are you suddenly telling me this? I've been thinking a lot about what you said. The person I was back then didn't think it through enough. If I choose to make one princess happy, the other will be sad. So I have to come up with a way to make it happen. A way to make both princesses happy. Uh, don't scare me like this. What are you rambling on about? The truth is, I'm not Dirty Harikikwu. What? The Dirty Harikikwu that you all know and love was sacrificed to seal away the Demon Queen many years ago by the royal family. The child, Dirty Harikikwu, your older sister, is dead. And the Dirty Harikikwu standing right in front of you now is the weakened soul of the Demon Queen, trapped inside the body of a mortal. Uh, what? This isn't funny. Did you eat something weird? As I thought, even though the soul of that girl is no more, a part of her still remains inside this body. It's her love for the princesses and her little sister. I thought I could wait for the day this body grew old and died so that my soul could escape before they trapped me in another human body and bid me under their rules again. But these feelings, they've become unbearable as of late. I've been living with them for far too long. I may as well call them my own. How unexpected, these feelings. They give me power, yes, so much power. An overflowing surge of power that's worth more than a thousand human lives. Uh, what are you talking about? Please stop. What's, what's even going on? Uh, why is the ground shaking? This is amazing. The time has come! I will conquer the world so that my princesses can be happy forever by my side. <laughs> Say... Me or Tatiana, which one do you love more? I love you both equally, my princesses. And you too, Olivia. Big Sister loves you very much. Uh... That's no fair. You get to have the two of us. What if we want you all to ourselves? As long as you're both happy, I'll do whatever you want, my dear princesses. I can split myself in two if that's your wish. Oh, there's no need. Yeah, I was joking. As long as I have you by my side, it's enough. I don't mind sharing with Martha. <laughs> Uh, can somebody explain what the hell is going on here? And they lived happily ever after. Oh my god, you got the special ending. Hope you enjoyed the game. So total of four endings. If you liked it, sure to check out my other game, Princess's Pet. Um, I kind of want to check out Princess's Pet now, I'm not gonna lie. Oh my god, this was so silly and amazing. <laughs> Oh my god, that special end was so worth it. I'm so happy. Ah, uh, yes. Good. Great.